Hi, I'm Wes Purvis from Cisco, here in the middle of some cubicles in our over-the-air test facility to talk about 802.11 AC beamforming. As some of you may know, beamforming is all about getting the best possible signal to the client. The Cisco AP3700 supports two forms of beamforming, Cisco ClientLink 3.0 as well as the standards-based explicit beamforming. In the past, it was difficult to quantify the benefit of ClientLink without doing a significant amount of digging. But with 802.11 AC, it becomes pretty easy to quantify. And that's because 256 QAM is difficult to obtain. 256 QAM is one of the speed enhancements of 11 AC over 11N. It equates to 802.11 AC data rates M8 and M9. So to showcase the benefit of Cisco's 4x4 architecture and client link, we took a whole bunch of data in these cubes in order to make a 256 QAM heat map. The test was to take this MacBook Pro, which is a three spatial stream 11 AC client, and record the data rate at multiple locations in each cubicle. The catch is we transmitted traffic to the client at each location to get an accurate representation of the data rate. This is what we found out. The AP3700 does a very good job of supporting 256 QAM over a meaningful area. 85% of the time, the AP3700 transmitted at M9 and the remaining 15% at M8. If we compare that to the Aruba AP225, things look different. The AP225 only managed to transmit at M9 7% of the time. And probably more importantly, the AP225 spent almost 50% of the time transmitting at M7, which is only 64 qualm. With 802.11 AC, it's crucial to have great RF. As you just saw, there's a large performance difference between the 225 and the 3700. The AP3700 is better able to support 802.11 AC data rates. This is because of Cisco's 4x4 architecture coupled with ClientLink. Your typical three transmitter, three receiver access point will transmit each spatial stream from its own transmit chain. Cisco's four transmitter, four receiver access points transmit each spatial stream collectively from all four transmit chains. Having this extra transmitter allows ClientLink to vary the phase and amplitude of these signals in order to create constructive interference. That's exactly how the AP3700 is able to support 256 QAM over a large area. So remember, RF still matters. Thanks for watching.